Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Jake and Sarah Health Nuts here. So today's video is on weightlifting 101, weightlifting for newbies. So as you see, I'm starting off doing a chest exercise. I'm exercising the pectorals major, which the function of that muscle is to concentrically accelerate adduction of the chest. So I'm pulling them together. That's an adduction movement. This is going to be a circuit style training. So we're going to do four sets of everything in a circuit style. We're going to start off with chest, then we're going to go to back, we're going to go to shoulder, bicep, tricep, and legs. My rep range is going to be about six to ten reps, and I'm going to, I'm trying to lift until I go to failure. Without any rest in between, I head right over to back, and on this one we are going to do lateral pull downs. I think I'm at about 160 pounds, so this is more than I actually weigh. We got the little thing there for my legs to keep my legs locked in so the weight doesn't pull me up as I'm actually pulling down more than I actually weigh right here. I'm pulling it down, I'm trying to get it below my chin. Ideally, I should be trying to get it down to my chest. Um, this isn't the ideal. I'm not doing it perfectly. And uh, just kind of keeping a good form and good posture as you pull down. Not excessively rowing or putting my entire back into it. I'm just kind of using my arms and my upper back to pull it down. And again, six to 10 rep range. No rest in between with the lateral pull downs going right into shoulder. I lower the bar down for me. And then I'm doing a form of external rotation here. Probably honestly should be keeping my arm a little bit straighter and out a little more. Either way, it's a pretty tough exercise to do. Again, going to that six to 10 rep range, no rest in between. And to get the other shoulder done, I just turn around and I pull it from the other side. All right, so once again, I'm going into zero ounce of rest. As soon as I do shoulders, I get these two at the right height and I'm doing biceps. I'm just pulling the cables over towards my ears. Biceps is my absolute favorite exercise for weightlifting. By the way, the reason this gym is so deserted is because it is currently 7.15 in the morning on a Sunday. This is the only time we could get here. Other than that, there would always be people around us and we would feel silly just filming everybody constantly. With everybody, we wouldn't want to be filming people and have them, people feel uncomfortable. So we got here at 7 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. Only time it's deserted. Now as you can see, I'm going into tricep. I'm lifting that up to the very top and I'm getting this weight stack so I can do roughly six to ten reps and I'm just having that elbow extend. Bicep is elbow flexion, that's a bending movement. Now we're doing elbow extension. We're completely extending our tricep muscle. Pulling that down towards my waist and again doing that six to ten rep range this is definitely one of my favorite tricep exercises immediately as i finish tricep extensions i go down i lift i bring the cable machine down i put a little strap around my foot and i'm doing hamstring curls uh, i should ideally be kicking up to my butt i think i'm doing a little too much weight there so i try it again Trying to just kick that up towards my butt, exercising the hamstring, which is the back of your leg. And then after I'm done with this, I go over to my left foot. I'm going to be honest, I'm extremely lazy when it comes to legs. I'm often guilty of just skipping legs altogether. I mean, I'm a guy. Guys like upper body strength. I don't really care much about legs. Something. I really should and need to work on, especially since I am a runner. After I finished hamstring curls, I took a short, mini short break, probably about 30 seconds to a minute. I got some water, and now we're heading over to a chest exercise. The next set, six sets are all going to be done right in this exact same area, and they're all going to be done with dumbbells. So I'm doing a dumbbell chest press. I'm not a huge fan of this exercise, and that's because I'm extremely afraid of going to failure, especially without a spotter. Sarah isn't quite the best spotter, and she's filming at this point. So I usually do not go to failure. I have actually dropped weights on my chest before. Um, luckily, I was kind of, I kind of did have some control on the, on the eccentric and the deceleration. 
So this is not the safest exercise. If you are new to lifting, I do not recommend that you do this exercise. I imagine you, I recommend doing something else. Immediately I went to go put my chest press dumbbells back and now we're going right into back immediately. I actually don't know the name of this exercise, but it's pretty self-explanatory. My left hand is on the bench press. My right hand has the dumbbell and is just trying to pull it as high as I can. I want to make it, I'm trying to get it to touch my chest is what I'm trying to do. If you can go even higher than that, that's probably more ideal. And now I'm switching hands. My left hand has the dumbbell and my right hand is stabilizing my body on the bench. And I'm lifting it up. As you can see, I'm touching my pectorals with the dumbbell, lifting as high as I can. This is a pulling-like movement, so it is exercising your back muscles. Again, roughly about 10 reps I'm doing. Again, no rest in between. I go right to my next set of weights, and I am doing a shoulder, shoulder press, lifting it above my head, lifting the dumbbells, uh, I'm a bigger fan of standing up while lifting versus sitting. I don't know. I just think we sit too much, and I think you get a better caloric burn just by standing a little bit on your feet versus a sitting. I just think it's better for you. And here I am going to failure. It's really tough, and there's my last rep. I set the dumbbells down on the floor because I knew there was nobody waiting for it. The gym is still really deserted at this time of day. I'm getting ready to do bicep curls. As you can see, I kind of have Sarah zooming in on my wrists here. Because one thing people do is they'll have their wrists and their palms facing towards their body more. I'm trying to prevent that. I'm trying to use all bicep if I can for this exercise and not use any of my forearms. You can exercise forearm, but that's meant to be a different exercise. Right now I'm focusing on biceps. Keeping my back straight, not putting my back into it, and just Trying to use all biceps here. Again, biceps is my absolute favorite exercise. So in this exercise, I'm doing tricep dips. I rested for a minute because I had to go get the, this um, weight here. And I am just doing tricep dips. You want to prevent your sh um, shoulders from rounding up towards your ears. You don't want your shoulders to be rounded. And um, go down as far as you can. This is about a 45 pound weight here on my lap and I'm doing tricep dips. Um, and, you know, I tried to do that six to 10 rep range, but 10 reps is just too easy for me to do dips. So this is, this is probably more like a 15 or 20 rep range. Even with the weight, it's just too easy for me just to do my own body and triceps. Next, we're doing legs round two. We're doing squats. You want your squats to be roughly to the height of a chair, so that's why I got the bench there to make sure I'm going down to roughly about the height of a chair. And uh, squats is a pretty tricky, tricky exercise to do. It's pretty hard to have good and proper form on. But I am, most people are on machines doing leg presses. I'm standing up, I'm holding the weight because I feel like this does core strength and not just your legs and your glutes. So I am standing up doing this exercise. After finishing circuit two, I got some water and now we're going into the bench press. You see those little things on the side, that's the safety. I really like this bench press machine as you can see. I just set it down completely. If your gym has that, I highly recommend using that as, you, as I am not afraid to go to failure even without a spotter because it has the safety on there. And I'm just doing the standard bench press, bringing it down. Um, I know it's debatable whether you should and shouldn't go down all the way. That's very debatable in the bodybuilding community. Again, doing roughly about 10 reps, and I'm doing almost my body weight here on this exercise. All right, so as you guys notice, I'm really big in doing this, a different exercise in the same spot if I can to save time. I don't want to be all over the gym doing one set at one end of the gym, doing another set at one another end. In this circuit training, I like to keep it quick and be able to move right into the next circuit in the same area. This, I'm really just using my body weight and I'm rowing with my entire body. I'm doing more than that 10 rep range that I'm shooting for because it's just way too easy to do 10 reps. And I am put, pulling all the way up to my chest. I'm having my 
my chest touch the bar and I'm just rowing my entire body. Now we're on to shoulder number three. This one is kind of like a lateral raise. You don't need a lot of weight. This is pretty tough exercise to do. Definitely don't need a hundred pound dumbbells to do this. Nobody can do that. And I'm just having my thumbs point towards the ceiling, raising these at least up to my ear length is what I'd like to shoot. For. Once again, we are back to bicep curls, my absolute favorite exercise. It's uh, pretty, pretty basic. You just kind of curl on down. Again, I'm not using my forearms. I don't want to pull. I don't want to use my forearms. I just want to use my bicep. And I love doing this exercise. Again, standing up. I went immediately from shoulder to standing up bicep curls, doing it in the same spot so that I have no rest in between. I like to try to keep my circuits in the same area if I can, just to save time. And I went to failure there, I couldn't lift any more. All right, we're on tricep number three. Um, this is the way I learned from Athlean X on YouTube, Jeff Cavalier. Most people typically are on a bench with a knee or something on, and they'll just extend their arms behind them. This is the way Jeff Cavalier recommended, so I try this way, and Whenever I do this exercise, and I haven't done it in a couple weeks, I'm always sore the next day. I don't know what it is about this one. This one does a really good job working, the X, working your tricep muscles. So definitely give it a try. It's uh, definitely harder than it looks, swinging it behind your body like that. All right, so I think I was actually using the exact same weight. So I just got up from that little bench there, and I pulled the dumbbells on my sides, and I'm doing walking lunges. I'm not the best at these. I try to walk and I try to have my knee touch the floor. Again, I just don't enjoy doing legs very much. I really don't enjoy it. But walking lunges, I figure it'd be a little more fun than regular lunges, especially being able to walk with it still being deserted only about 7.30 in the morning at this point. All right, so now we're on to the final round of chest. I'm doing a cable chest press. And if you're brand new to lifting, this is exactly what I'd recommend. I have the bar or the handles roughly about the height of my chest when I'm sitting down. And this is a very good exercise for a new person. Oh, I did a little more weight than I thought I could handle, so now I'm dropping the weight here. That happens a lot. If you don't keep track or write it down, it's, it's hard to remember how much you actually do. And this is, uh, yeah, this is great if you're a newbie. You can't, it's really hard to get hurt on a cable machine. I highly recommend it if you're brand new to lifting. We are on back number four here. I, grab my, I use my legs, I extend my whole body, I go all the way back, and I want to pull that all the way to my body, the handles. Some people will use their entire body, they'll use their back, they'll use their core, they'll use everything. Remember, you just want to use your back muscles right behind you. So I'm just using my arms, I'm pulling that in as far as I can up to my body. You don't need to use any other parts of your body except your back. You want to have proper form here. Once again, I am big on saving time. I go right from the rowing, right over here. I'm going to do a shoulder raise. I'm going to raise it above my head. I actually do not remember what the name of this is. I put it between my legs there, and I just lift it up. If I get a better camera angle, Sarah, all right, much better. And I'm just lifting the cable right there, at least up to high level or higher if I can. And this is a shoulder raise. I don't actually know the exact name of this one, but it's exercise in the shoulder. And we are on to set four of bicep. I figured I would do a machine just to kind of make this a diverse workout and show you that there's all kinds of ways to lift and work out. I'm not a huge fan of the machine. The only reason I'm doing it is for this video to kind of help people that might be new to going to the gym, kind of not sure what they should do. This is a decent bicep exercise though for sure. I'm not a big fan. I would rather use free weights. Here's another tricep exercise. I'm actually not a big fan of this one. And mostly because Planet Fitness does not have a seat belt. I'm doing almost my more, I think I'm doing about my weight if not more. It's very hard to stay on the seat. This is a very goofy machine, but again, I'm just showing you what you can do when you go to the gym. 
You know, people go to the gym the first time, they have no clue what to do, what what machine, what weight exercises, what muscles. That's why I make this video, is to kind of show you what it does. So the tricep, again, is the muscle on the opposite by side of the bicep, behind your body, just above your elbow. My favorite one, personally, is pulling it down with the rope. That's my favorite tricep exercise. And for one of the last ones, we're going to do donkey kicks. This exercises your glutes and your quadriceps. Your body is against, my stomach is against the pad. And I just put my foot on the little, I don't know what that thing's called. I'm going to put my foot on that below. And I am going to extend my legs. And this will be donkey kicks. For set five, we're going to work the hip abductors for the legs. We're doing a little extra sets on the legs because there's a lot of muscles you can exercise on the legs. And we're just pushing the pads away from our body doing an abduction movement. And for the last set we're going to work on our adductor muscles and the legs, that's the inside of the legs. We're going to pull those apart and then we're going to push them together. As you can see, um, workouts don't have to be long and boring. You don't need to rest three to five minutes between each sets. You can do circuit training. You can get in and out of the gym. This is 26 sets in 40 minutes. I really don't know how you can get a full body workout much quicker than this doing all these sets. I really can't picture anybody doing 26 sets any faster than this. So circuit training is a great way. It's hard to do if your gym is packed and every machine is being used. You kind of do have to hog your machine. But this is great. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.